welcome back to Demo Derby. Today we'll be checking out Puzzles for Clef. Uh, this demo is actually no longer available on Steam to download, however, because I'd already downloaded it, I could double click the exe file and play the demo. So <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. Even though the devs no longer want you to play the demo, I'm accessing it anyway. I still don't understand the logic behind, you know, time-gating a demo. It just seems kind of illogical and backwards to me. That's interesting. <laughs> the load- ah, oh, there we go. I mean, I want to give this game every opportunity it deserves, because I mean, look at it! It's cute! The forest really is huge, but there's so much light and space here! I think I'll find the bell pretty quickly! AD to move. Ooh. Not quite sure about that A control scheme. F to interact. Welcome to the bamboo forest! S and space to jump down. Oh! Bell! God, this game's adorable. I started traveling a lot once I left this island. In every new place, I always try to find a jingle bell for you, little sister. It's high time I present them to you. I've hidden them across the island. Hope they make a fine addition to your collection. Adorable! I'm both glad and a little sad at the same time. Chris has been collecting all these treasures for so many years and never told me? How cruel of her! Thankfully, I had no idea what she was up to. How many of them are there? I should start looking immediately. No bell will be abandoned on my watch. Come on, Clef. Time to save every single bell around. Hmm. There's a strange mark here. Some time ago, a system of ten bells worked on the island. Their ringing filled the entire island and made the spatial navigation of mechanical animals possible. Our grandfather was the last master of the bells. I really want to bring his legacy back to life and hope you will help me. Let's start with the bell in this bamboo forest. There are so many interesting places here, but there is one that I want to show you first, and, our f and foremost our father's favourite spot. Look for the red bridge! Ten bells? It's a long path ahead. Good thing I've slept well today. Father's favourite place. Will I be able to see the things he saw while being there? Well, time to search the forest and find the red bridge. Hmm. Oh, this is every bit as adorable as I expected it to be. I can jump down from there. Oh, and I can jump up that. Okay. It's alright then. I thought for a minute I'd broken something. By complete accident. Here we go. Examine the bridge. Dad spent all of his free time here. I knew he had a secret base somewhere around here, but as a child I couldn't find it no matter what. One day I tried following Dad. He was standing on the bridge and looking into the distance, but the next thing I knew he was gone. My inconspicuous chase failed, but over time I still managed to unravel his secret. Can you do it? I remember Father mentioning he had a secret place for training. He didn't have an ear for music at all and constantly practiced with the bells in order to become a worthy successor of our, of our family's work. But, in the end, Grandpa insisted that Father found his own way and worked on something he truly enjoyed. Go, Clef! I, too, will be able to unravel the secret of this bridge. Well, that was easy. Moving swiftly on. This is strange. Father hasn't been here for a long time, yet the bells look as good as new. Cress must have cleaned them, just for the sake of it, or did she have a specific goal? Oh, it's a puzzle. Oh my god, it's one of these puzzles. No!
There we go. You solved my puzzle, but it's not over yet. A secret base in secret caves. Of course there would be even more secrets here. The melody alone holds two secrets. Purple, purple, red, purple, red, red, purple. Oh. Purple, red, red, purple, red, red, purple. Hold on. To open the diary. Purple, purple, red, purple, red, red, purple. Purple, purple, red, purple, red. Why am I pressing the wrong one? Ah! Purple, purple, red, purple, red, red, purple. Oh, that did something! Has anything else changed? I don't know. Solve all the mysteries of the cave. That is what I'll do. Not that way, though. So there's another mystery to solve. And god darn it, I'm gonna find out what that is. Is it this? Nope, that doesn't appear to be it. I wonder what the secret is. Secret of Mana. Is there anything in the guidebook? Melody alone holds two secrets. Oh. How many bells have we got? Yeah, there we go. The melody alone holds two secrets. I actually feel kind of smart for figuring that out. There's a, ooh. A lamp on its side, there's a secret underneath it. A lamp on its side. And there's a secret underneath it. Okay, let's check it out. This really is a beautiful game. I don't think it needs to be said, but I'm gonna say it anyway. This clef looks totally fuckable. Ah, would you look at this. Once I visited Dad's secret base, I immediately wanted to create one of my own. It was in this cave that I set up my personal refuge. This is where I kept my first collection of crystals. It's a pity that almost all of them are already lost, but I did manage to find something for you. I've hidden the last six crystals all over the forest. Fear not, I left you more hints. They're right here. No one else can solve this secret. This magic is only meant for you. Reveal the hidden. Photo one. Photo two. I see it's one of these kinds of games. Find the places from the billion photographs. Oh, hidden bell. Hidden bell, hidden bell. This game's music is just really relaxing. Let's say you've had a really shit day at work. This is a game you could really just sort of come home and relax to. Aha! Uh -huh. Ah, oh, there we go, one gem. So it really is as simple as go to the place from the photo and play the song. Okay. I now gotta remember what all the places from the photos look like. I don't have very smart brain for things like this. 
This game could really do with controller support, though. That's definitely one of the things I'm going to say about this, uh, this demo, as it currently stands. This needs controller support. It needs it bad. This game could only benefit from controller support. Especially if they're looking to release it on more than just PC. I mean, this screams Nintendo Switch, right? Ooh, what's this? A mechanical bird? There's even more great things to find in this demo. I don't even tend to play games like this. Puzzle, like, puzzle adventure games like this, I tend to just... tune out. I'm not really into stuff like this, but... I'm willing to make an exception for this. This is really cute. I've only just noticed how, like, dreamlike the background scrolling is. It's a bit excessive, but... It really paints the picture that this is a really thick and dense forest. Even if the scrolling does feel like it's going a bit too fast. Yeah, it's giving me that... It's giving me that... <laughs> A little bit in the in the stomach because of how fast it the background's going. Enter. I can go under the bridge. So there's two areas. Oh, lovely. Time for me to get extra lost. Well, I know that's there. I'll come back for that. Some sort of gate. Another token. So I do have to go that way. Under the bridge. Then why... Why does it show as a gem being here? Unless there's another bridge. In which case... Too much, too much. Oh, boxes? Finding lots of these tokens. Boxes. We might be in the right map for that room that we briefly saw. Yeah, we are. Dark blue, then a bit of sky blue there, among a, just a droplet of ultramarine. Greet. Ah, what a playful reflex. It sparkles joy like a child's laugh. It should go nicely with cobalt blue. Nothing will depict the saturation of this feeling better. But hurry, hurry, before the moment is gone. Bring Hans a jar of cobalt blue paint. This demo is just getting like, longer and longer. And I'm not getting any younger. Cobalt blue. A tender, mild color meets an enigmatic, mysterious shade and their encounter looks so bright and vivid. Much like a long-awaited reunion of two lovers divided by war. Isn't that the plot of Gothic? Perhaps Indigo would be rich for these in emotions. Yes, indigo is a must here. Find indigo. It's not necessarily apparent where I can land on this. Okay, this music is starting to uh, do my nut. It looks like I can land where the lights are. And if I was paying attention, I would have noticed this. It's a mechanical bird! Find the six gems. But the gem is shown as... being part of the tree here. Like, playing that doesn't help here. Yeah. 
They're hidden by the song, right? I'm standing here. Dispel. 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 I've stood there and done the song. I've stood there and done the song. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I've given this demo enough time. A demo that I'm surprised even worked considering Steam won't let me boot it. From within Steam, I had to boot the executable separately in order to play the demo. If it comes to Game Pass, I'll give it a shot. Otherwise, I'll be skipping this one. But, if you like cute, you know, side-scrolling action platformers, stuff like Boy and His Blob, you're gonna get a kick out of this, I think. But, it's just a little bit too saccharine and sweet for me. So, I'm gonna have to pass this one up. This has been Demo Derby, but of course, you already knew that. Until next time. If we live that long.